Hey there, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a haul video. I've had some gift cards over the, I received some gift cards over the holidays and I finally have used them all. Everything's arrived so I can finally film this haul. Some of these products I've had for weeks because I was deciding what other products to buy and some things were on back order and it's just been sitting on my dining room table taunting me for weeks now. So I can finally start using everything now that I'm gonna film the video, even though I did kind of swatch a few things and, and maybe just take things out of the box just to like see them, because I have no self-control. So let's get started. The retailers that I bought things from were Space NK, Nordstrom's, Sephora, and then recently Bergdorf's. So everything pretty much is makeup stuff and then kind of one home thing. So let's get started. Uh, the first product that I bought from Space and K, when I have, let me just preface this, when I have gift cards, I tend to buy ridiculous things. Meaning that things that regularly I wouldn't buy because they seem kind of pricey or just not necessarily necessary. When I have gift cards, like all reason goes out the window and I'm like, it's not my money. So I can buy whatever I want. I can use a gift card on one item or 10. So I tend to kind of splurge on pieces that are a little bit, uh, that maybe I wouldn't buy myself if I didn't have a gift card, but I really want the item, but now that I have a gift card and it's not my own money, so I can kind of splurge on something really fancy. So the first product I bought was from Space and K and it's a large bay candle, I think that's how you pronounce it, bay. Hmm. The, um, it's kind of their, I, you know, cult classic scent. It's, um, I don't know exact notes of it. I'm so bad at these sort of things. I'm like, it smells good, right? That describes it to you, it smells good. It's like light and fresh, but it is light and fresh. But if you haven't ever used a Dittik candle, then I would recommend starting with this one. It tends to be the easiest to kind of acclimate to and it doesn't, it's not a scent that is too overpowering or that you have to have, you know, kind of, if you like woodsy scents or you like more floral scents, it kind of doesn't fall in any of those categories. It kind of falls right in the middle of like a nice, neutral, fresh scent for the home. So it's a really good one, like a starter candle if you want to start with one. And I bought, it's like a large size. Typically they are, I don't know what, what size this is, but it's larger than their regular size and I like the kind of dark, smoky glass which is really neat. And I've started collecting the boxes actually recently. I have them like um, on my um, like media center right here. I've like started collecting all my boxes because I don't want to throw them away, they're so pretty. So I'm kind of using them almost like decorations. I, like some of the boxes are limited edition and they have like patterns on them and they're so beautiful. This one came in a nice black box, so I had to keep it. I don't know what I'll do with them. Probably I just end up like stacking them up and then throwing them away when I move or something. But really, I um, haven't started burning this yet because I have two others over there, but I'm really excited to burn this one. It's such a classic scent and I always love having it in my home. Next, uh, I don't have everything grouped by retailer, um, to be honest, so I can't. Oh yeah, I do. Here's the other product I bought from Space Inc. So about two. And the second is the By Terry Velvet Rouge um, in this nice neutral color. It is number three, which I think is like Desert Rose. So these are like a matte, liquid lipstick. First of all, I love liquid lipsticks. Uh, second of all, I love matte lipsticks. Third of all, I love by Terry. So hello, of course I had to have this. Really excited to try this. I have snuck and put it on my lips and uh, spoiler alert, it's amazing. So the, as you can see, the applicator is kind of like this like figure eight almost. It's kind of like Kind of full at the top and goes in at the center and then back out. It's kind of like an hourglass shape, so it kind of fits right in the lips there. Um, really excited to, to use these. I love by Terry anyway. If you search my blog or search my videos, I talk about them all the time. Next is a so I didn't buy all new stuff either. So sometimes people will, you know, I'm not a I love buying new makeup, like new collections. But there's so many products out there that I have missed from prior collections or I haven't even tried yet. So I tend to buy existing products that are, have been in the line for a while and not necessarily always go for like the newest collection first. 
That's just the way that I do things. Um, next is a Dior quad or quint, the five color eyeshadows. Um, and it is in the color, I'm going to butcher the name, you guys know. Um, M-O-N-T-A-I-G-N-E. So Mon Mon Montaigne, Montag Montaigne, it's a French name. Bear with me. It's, you know, you get, you get the drift. And I'll link everything down below in the comments. So this is the palette. Oh, right? So pretty. It's really kind of washing out a little bit on camera, but it's really kind of the peach is very rich and it's kind of a dark brown and a bronze and kind of like a matte taupe in the middle. Like I said, it's really kind of washing out in the camera, stupid camera. But it's such a beautiful quad, um, five color eyeshadow and I've been dying to, to get this one. There was another one, Cure Canage or C-U-I-R Canage. Once again, probably need to take some French classes, but um, we're just gonna go with it. I've been dying to try that uh, five color eyeshadow as well, but this has been on my list for a while. And no surprise, it's all neutrals. Next, I have two brushes I bought recently, uh, both powder face blush brushes. I haven't bought that many eyeshadow brushes in a while. I'm always kind of, I always kind of gravitate towards the face brushes first. I'm like, oh, they're so fluffy. You know, they're always so like fluffy and they look so nice. And they're really expensive. Like face brushes are always more expensive. So I tend to, when I have a gift card, I'm like, I'm gonna buy an expensive brush with this. So the first one I bought is the Marc Jacobs, the bronzer brush. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. It's like huge, right? It's like bigger than my eyeball. It's like one fifth of my face, right? It's like five of them. It's huge, but it's so fluffy. Uh, it is really full. I was a little concerned that it was almost too full, but I think it'll be great for powders or kind of bronzers, just kind of like if I want to add a lot of color, but just not have it so, you know, dense, I guess, or applied so heavily. This looks like it will probably apply things pretty lightly. So I'm excited to, to give this a go. It got a, had a lot of good reviews, so stay tuned. I'll let you know if it's rocking my world or not. And then the next one is really decadent. Ooh, it's a Tom Ford blush brush. Oh my gosh, so pretty. The hair is like a bunny. It's so soft. I wish there was like a way that you could like touch it through the screen because it's so soft and fuzzy. And I've heard that his brushes are just so decadent and so amazing and I thought it fit so perfect like on the cheek right there. My only concern is that they're white. I don't want to get them dirty. But I'm sure I can clean it and everything. But it just looks so pretty and pristine and it's going to look so funky and nasty when I start putting my colors on it or my blushes and everything on it. But whatever. I was, it was between this or the foundation brush, so I went with the blush brush. So I'm excited to give this a try, and um, his blushes are quite a splurge, so I'm glad that I had a gift card to kind of splurge on that. Next are two Chanel lip products from the Spring Collection. So I did buy some things, but half of the stuff was not new and half was new. So the first was the Rouge Double Intensity, and it's these double, um, lip ones where it's like kind of the color that seals. It's like that color, the like eight hour color that you put on, you put on the gloss on top. You guys know those, like, like Matt does the Pro Long Wears. I've never actually used these. I don't have too much Chanel makeup. Surprise, surprise, I don't. I don't know why, but I always tend to just, I'm, I'm always distracted by something sparkly. So I don't tend to stick with Chanel consistently and have to buy something from them all the time. I just kind of buy things here and there when something strikes or it's my fancy. So I'm really excited about this because the color um, looked pretty neutral, I thought. And uh, I, you know, I don't really love the kind of gloss concept on the end, but whatever. I do like a long wearing lipstick and I like that it kind of dries down to a slightly of a matte finish. So I always like that. And I always will kind of, I'll always go first for like lipstick over a gloss just because, you know, ugh. <laughs> that always happens. Um, when I wear gloss, but I still have, find, have glosses that I really enjoy. And I just did a post on all my favorite like lip balms, 
uh, lip oils, lip glosses slash balm hybrids that they're coming out with. They'll let these like the YSL Volupte Tint and Oil or the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. Those are just like rocking my world. So fantastic. If you haven't read that post, go read that post um, and check out some of those products. I really uh, am liking those. Next is a Rouge Allure Velvet, and this is the new one from the Spring Collection La Petillante? Petillante? Um, mm -hmm. Once again, just go with me. So um, this is, oh, I mean, that color. Just, what? That's amazing. I just... Just I just want to stare at it. Of course I want to wear it, but I did swatch it, so I, I couldn't wait. I had to swatch these two Chanel lip colors, and this one is just absolutely stunning. And I love that. I think I have another Rouge Allure Velvet. I have this dark purple called Envoutante, E-N-V-O-U-T-A-N-T-E, -E, I believe. And it's this dark purple, and just the texture is so beautiful. It kind of has a little bit of glitter, but it's more of a matte. It's absolutely beautiful. So I think that's a Rouge Allure Velvet. I have to double check. But anyway, I love the texture of this. It is a very creamy, soft, matte lipstick. All right, one more item, and then I wanted to show you my Sephora perk, which was so worth it. I don't know what they have it anymore. I don't think they do, but they sell this in the full size, and I highly recommend getting it. Okay, it's the Guerlain Meteorites Compact from the Spring Collection. <gasps> this one, just, I didn't swatch this though, so. With packaging beautiful as girl on always is I mean what okay it's really gonna look washed out here so it's the medium one that has kind of like the purple and beige it really looks washed out here I'm so sorry but it is the medium shade oh, the smell is so strong it's like that rose smell that they're known for they're especially in their meteorites products I have the meteorites the loose ones and originally, I bought those like a few years ago, and I bought the, the lightest shade, and I, and I enjoy using them, I think more for like what they look like than actually how they perform on my skin. So I'm really hoping that this does give me a little bit more color because I find those really light pearls when I swirl them all together doesn't do too much on my skin. So I'm hoping that this one kind of makes a little bit more of an impact, which I think it will because I think it's a little bit, I went with a deeper shade this time because I didn't want to use it necessarily as a highlighter, but more as like I use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette because I'm so fair, I can use those shades as contouring shades. I know, that's how fair I am. I can use highlighting shades for everybody else as a contour for myself. Okay, last product is the Sephora perk that I got when I bought some Sephora stuff. And it was the system, the Formula X system. Yay! This is amazing. I have, I don't know whether this perk is still available, I'm sorry. But I highly recommend, um, first of all, these bottles are so cute. Look at the meep. Nah, how cute that is. It's like a little baby bottle. So cute. And I have been using the Sephora Formula X system um, on my nails for a few weeks, if not a month or so. Uh, I just got my nails done yesterday. Love this Dior color. I have it on my blog. Ooh. And I won't use anything else. I do have, um, I'm doing a nail video coming up in the next few weeks, but I really love that Sephora Formula X kit. It's like a system, so there's like a nail cleanser, a base coat, and a top coat. I'm not kidding. It, my nail, I get a good seven to eight days with barely any chipping. And my nails chip very easily because I type all day at work, and I'm constantly like fussing with stuff or touching stuff or you know, I'm not really delicate the way I handle things. So I'm constantly getting chips and that system has saved my nails. Some people say they don't really have that great of experience with it, that's a bummer. Because I really have loved it and I don't necessarily need to use the Formula X nail polishes with it either. I've been able to use it with any nail polish and it extends the life and wear of that nail polish. So highly recommend checking that out. I'm not sure if they still have this perk, but if they do, get it. I believe it's a 500 point perk. So that's it, that's my haul. And I'll start using all this stuff and anything that I find blog worthy, I will definitely review on the blog. If you have any questions about anything, um, my thoughts of it in a few weeks, you know, shoot me an email or whatnot and um, you know, ask away. And I'll link everything down below in the little comments box or whatever uh, about everything. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, talk to you guys soon, bye.